for a whole night, there was nothing but rain. Insane tropical rain that felt nothing as usual one. We had just started our journey. So we didn't want to stop on the very first day and passed every city we wanted to paint in the first place. We rode almost 200 kilometers through the rainstorm. And finally we reached Cilacap. We met a friend and stayed for a night at his graffiti shop. Selamat pagi. Pagi. Apa kabar? My goodness, I feel so aduh. <laughs> I cannot be blogger again. Hari ini kita nyanyi. Hari ini kita nyanyi. Baru bangun, mau mandi. Yes, baru bangun di Cilaman ya. I was planning to go at five. <laughs> Are you sure? I said we need to apa ya? Meet the sunrise on the beach. Maybe we will meet sunset there. Now. <laughs> yes. The town of Cilacap is a seaport on the southern coast of Java. The city's harbor is protected by Nusa Kambangan. It's a prison if you talk in easy words. Although there are also hopes that the island can be developed as a tourist destination. Chilachap offers several tourist attractions highlighting Banyumasan culture. The town has a number of beaches and the most popular being Teluk Penyu, where we left our artwork. We spent two days in this city. We couldn't finish our collaborative marine-inspired wall with Onya in one day. The reason was the constant rain. Instead, we had a lot of time for conversations and learning about the struggle of local artists. Unique thing about creative communities from small towns is a fight with surrounding noise and anxiety balance with extreme sport they share. How marvelous and warming was to feel that. Once you're in a suburb, most likely you'll find a very few people who have any interest in street art. They are really treasured to their places. Their dedicated efforts keep the towns alive and vibrant. Of course, we wanted to meet all of these people. On the third day of the trip, we finished the wall packed our painting stuff and got back on the road. Jangan 